Hi, my name is Carol. I'm a medical doctor and a clinical trainer here at Arley Academy. In occasion of the world's not tobacco day, I thought I'd hop on here and tell you a little bit about the effects that smoking will have on skin and specifically on uh, early signs of aging. Everybody knows that smoking is bad for you. I think everybody knows that smoking is being associated with plenty of systemic disorders and um, different types of cancers, not only lung cancer, but also um, cancer of the stomach, of the bladder. Uh, it's been associated to a specific type of skin cancer known as squamous cell carcinoma different types of um, cancer of the oral mucosa and also specific types of hair loss uh, but unfortunately i feel like not many people know that smoking is one of the main factors that plays a role in aging and especially premature aging and skin atrophy the studies on smoking and the effects that it's got on um, on the skin and the aging of the skin actually date back to uh, the 90, 1970s, early 1970s, where there's been a doctor called uh, Dr. Daniel who has uh, carried out quite a, a large study on um, finding a positive correlation between the packs of um, cigarettes smoked per year and the level of skin aging and lines and wrinkles that the people were presenting. How does smoking actually affect the skin? So when uh, someone is smoking, there is over 400 different chemicals which are introduced into the body. And for the body to get rid of them, basically, these um, these chemicals need to be broken down and need to be processed. In this process of breaking down all these different chemicals, uh, they release and they activate something that is called a ROS system. ROS stands for reactive oxygen species and is what we normally would call, or what people generally would refer to as oxidants. So this would involve molecules such as, for example, peroxides, different um, alpha oxygens or uh, hydroxyl radicals basically so they are negatively charged molecules which tend to bind to everything that they find on their way of course the body is very clever it does have a system to fight these radicals um, through uh, something that we call a scavenger receptor so a scavenger receptor would bind to the free radicals and get rid of them the problem with smoking especially when it's over a long period of time is that this oxidative stress there is just too many of these types of uh, dangerous molecules that the scavenger receptor system just gets too overwhelmed and it cannot get rid of all of them so these ROS molecules, these oxidants, are, are, are left free to go and bind to every other type of molecule that they can find, including our DNA. So uh, what happens there is that um, because of this um, direct damage that the, um, that the ROS system creates on our DNA, there is a different type of molecule which is hyperexpressed, which is called um, matrix metalloproteinases or MMPs. Everybody has got MMPs, it's completely normal and they play an important role in getting rid of the old cells and production of the new ones. Uh, again, the body is really, really clever. This mechanism is uh, tightly regulated. We have got metalloproteinases, which destroy our uh, collagen cells. And then we have got something that is called TIMPs or tissue inhibition metalloproteinases. So we have got another um, enzyme which will contrast the effect of the metalloproteinases, if that makes sense. But again, um, because the smoking uh, hyperexpresses the metalloproteinases, there is going to be an imbalance between what is the degradation compared to what is the production of uh, collagen cells into the skin. And collagen um, has a lifespan of about three months, and it does take up to three months for it to uh, start producing again. Uh, so with this imbalance, uh, with this overexpression of metalloproteinases, especially metalloproteinases one and three, uh, there is going to be an excessive degradation of collagen uh, that the body, and it is so fast that the body just cannot keep up with it, it can just not produce enough collagen to replenish the ones that is being destroyed because of the smoking and in turn it's just going to uh, start creating something that we call tropoelastin. 
Shop elastin is a different type of elastin uh, that is just not functionally as good as the normal, uh, as the elastin that we would produce in the skin if we had more time. So because of these dermal matrix breakdown and um, the accumulation of this abnormal tropoelastin, which is not qualitative as good as collagen, uh, basically the skin um, repair is impaired and uh, is going to result in laxity of the skin instead of a nice and elastic flexible skin.